Hey guys, today we're talking about Teachable's digital download feature. This is where we add our digital downloads to Teachable's platform and we sell them. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this as a step-by-step -step tutorial and give you some tips and tricks to help boost sales along the way. All right guys, so step number one to setting up your digital download in Teachable is to obviously log into teachable.com. And if you don't have an account yet, consider signing up using my affiliate link in the description. You'll get a free 14 day trial to try it out. So once we're on the dashboard here, all we have to to do here is we have to scroll down on this left login here we need to find the button that says digital downloads here it is it's like the seventh one down see it on the left all right so then it brings us to this page so step number three is to click on this create a digital download for the next step you're gonna have to give your product a name and a description I'm literally just uploading a product uh, it's a PDF ebook on how to YouTube then I had chat GPT throw me up a quick description here then choose your category of what type of digital download you're gonna do we have ebooks audiobooks just choose what one you want to choose from then once you have all that filled out you can click the continue button down here in the bottom right hand side then on the next page here we need to add a thumbnail image and what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna upload this because I had chat GPT make me one and again guys if you're looking for ideas on how to do this chat GPT can really help you guys do a lot of this so we have now uploaded it and you can see it's from chat GPT so click upload and that'll just take a second and here it is and then click the continue button down on the right hand side a little FYI guys, you want to make sure you be careful about some of like the thumbnails that ChatGPT makes because it will make spelling errors. As you can see here, it made one. It says YouTube. And as far as pricing, this is the next step we have to go through. Set a price. I'm going to do the one-time purchase. So click the continue button. Again, you can do a payment plan free. I don't know yet. Those are your selections. And then for the price, I'm going to do $2,000 because my stuff is worth that. No, I don't know. <laughs> so just type it in. 2000 and then do the name. Um, you can just add whatever. I usually do Min Media because that's the name of my company. Then a short description. You can add all this in. Short description. Uh, subtitle. YouTube. Bear with me here. YouTube like a pro. I don't know. Detailed description. Um, let's go back to ChatGPT here. Here's a description. Um, paste that. Paste. And this is what it's going to look like over here on the right. And then you can also choose for people to pay with a firm, which is really cool. They can do like payments on it. I highly advise you do that, especially if it's like a course like this, that's like $2,000 because people really like that. So then we're going to click the continue button here and it says, add your content. This is where we're actually going to upload the course, right? So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to look for my PDF file because that what usually an ebook is, it kind of depends what your digital download is through teachable. And then you're just going to upload it here. And this may take a second depending on your internet because uh, depending on the size of it, etc. And you can see my course is right here. It's a PDF file, how to use YouTube, a beginner's guide. And then that's it. Make sure it's there. And then we're going to click on continue and it says review your digital download. And this is what it looks like. So let's move to the next step here and click on finish. So then you can take another look here at everything that you have selected for your digital download. And it looks pretty good to me. You can just double check everything and edit what you want. This is also gonna be where you delete it. Say if you don't like it, and then you can delete the stuff here and then you click publish let's go ahead and publish this guy then what you can do here to find your digital downloads just click on this tab right here and you can also go over to the left side the tabs over here and click on digital downloads and this is where it should show up right what i would do is just take a look at everything you can click here what you'd want to do is take a look at this so click here you can click on unpublish usually what i like to do is to try to find like the sales page we can go over here and do pages you can change your uh, your pricing, your order bumps, coupons, students. And what we can do here is you can click this view button. That's what I tend to do. Go to this and it will open your sales page. And again, you're probably going to want to edit the sales page of your digital download just because this is like a blank, uh, blank slate. You're going to have to add pricing. You're going to have to edit this all together. And if you guys want more information on how to do that, I advise you check out the next video. I'll throw a link in the description on how to edit the digital download sales page. All right, guys, hope this helped you learn how to set up a digital downloads page on Teachable. This is an awesome way to sell things through Teachable. I absolutely love Teachable. Again, all my links will be in the description. I have courses on how to YouTube. I have courses on how to do just so many things. And my affiliate links will be down below. Sign up for Teachable through that as well. And hit me up in the comments. I'm a normal dude. I run my own agency and I do this full time. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.